Welcome to the first Digital Beltway Conference. We're so pleased that you could join us. Um, I'm Pete Cashmore. I'm the founder and CEO at Mashable. Uh, and Mashable exists to tell stories of the digital revolution. Uh, we'll hear many stories today, some inspiring, some heartwarming, some enlightening, uh, and all of them powered by this digital revolution that's the narrative of our time. Uh, so let me begin by telling my own story. Uh, I grew up in a rural town in northeast Scotland. Um, and at school, I was a really keen student until high school when I had complications from appendicitis and I was left bedridden and unable to attend any of my lessons for most of my teens. Um, I was what they call a sick kid. Um, and yet, what could have been a really isolating experience would instead become an enlightening one for me. Uh, my illness coincided with the arrival in our home of a compact disc from a company called AOL. Um, <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you guys got hundreds of these. Um, you know, welcome to AOL was the voice at the gates of all human knowledge for me. Uh, you've got mail. Um, and it was the beeps and whirs of that dial-up connection uh, through which my own small world became uh, virtually boundless. Um, as a keen writer, I'd submit articles to North American magazines in the hopes of getting published for the first time, uh, and I was. Uh, the web seemed to neither know nor care that I was a sickly teenager in rural Scotland and suddenly I was in national publications. Uh, but I worried about getting a job or an education, so uh, my schemes became more entrepreneurial over time. Um, one included being the UK distributor for a company that made colored plastic toys that fired smoke ring guns. I'd heard that, uh, that uh, one teenager become very rich in the UK, uh, becoming the UK distributor for, for razor scooters. Uh, I was less successful. I did not sell a single smoke ring gun. And they're still in my parents' attic at home. Um, another included selling e-books, where I'd set up a simple system to process the payments and automatically deliver the books via email. Uh, except my parents had their own quest to have more money. So they would turn the computer off overnight and uh, bring down my empire. So that was the first major financial dispute of my career uh, about whose money was more important. Um, at the center of my endeavors was this fascination with the power and reach of the internet. If I could become a published writer, start a business, educate myself through digital tools, then so could millions of other people just like me. So at age 19, I began Mashable a news site with a mission to document this digital revolution, to inspire people and empower them to use the internet to make a difference in their own lives and the lives of others. Uh, through my own experiences, I learned that the true power of this digital revolution was to connect the disconnected, to empower the disempowered, and to give us all a voice at the table. Uh, the digital wave that Mashable documents has just transformed every facet of our lives, from media to business to entertainment to fashion and, of course, politics. Uh, today, we stand at the dawn of the new campaign uh, season. We stand on the precipice of new potential internet regulations. We stand in the midst of a technology revolution that is reshaping public utilities and disrupting century-old institutions. But this exponential growth does not stop now. So much of this change is driven by technology advances in hardware, software, uh, and yes, warfare. Uh, technology has always outpaced our lawmaking. We can't always stay ahead, but we can seek out the best minds, the most constructive voices, and learn from one another. So today, we gather here to discuss, dissect, and have a discourse about how we shape the future through technology and through policy. We're joined in this mission by our partner, the United Nations Foundation. We thank them again um, for being our partner, an organization that shares our passion for technology, for social good, and the crucial role of both the public and private sectors in shaping our future. And I think maybe a little round of applause for the United Nations Foundation. Thanks so much. Um, 
we're joined to you by some of the world's most innovative thinkers on the topics of technology and government. We'll welcome the United States Chief Technology Officer, Megan Smith, to our stage. The US Secretary of Energy, Ernest Moniz, will join us to discuss innovations in the energy sector. And we'll explore the changing face of political news with the moderator of NBC's Meet the Press, Chuck Todd. We'll be live streaming all of today's discussions to our global online audience and engaging on social media using the hashtag Digital Beltway, hashtag Digital Beltway, uh, for all your tweets. Um, please share your impressions, analysis, questions, and hot takes over there. Uh, and now, as we begin our day, let's embrace this immense opportunity provided by the digital revolution. An opportunity to strengthen our democracy, to connect the disconnected, to empower the disempowered, and to give us all a voice at the table. Thanks for joining, and have a fantastic day. Thank you.